Have you ever heard the phrase, tell me who your friends are, and I'll tell you who you are? The people you surround yourself with will determine who you will be. But have you ever wondered how your environment can affect your personality and behavior? It's almost like being in a bad relationship. You start to pick up on your surroundings bad habits. Or you're hanging around with the wrong people in school. And instead of studying for your exams, you're out wasting your time on meaningless things. The right environment can affect everything from your mood to your motivation. It can even influence your social skills and creativity. You don't believe me? (laughs) Well, let me ask you this. Would you rather go on a romantic date to a dirty gas station or a fancy restaurant? Yeah, that's what I thought. If you want to be the best version of yourself, you need to surround yourself with the best environment possible. And in this video, you will learn some key principles about surrounding yourself in the right environment. This inspiring story of two parrots will have you reconsider how and with whom you spend your time with and how to untap your potential. Welcome to Untapping Your Potential, where we will share with you motivational stories, motivational figures, comeback stories, and public speaking tips that will keep you growing and inspire you to take action. Once upon a time, there was a king who loved to hunt for his own food. Despite having access to a wide variety of dishes prepared by the best chefs in the land, the king He preferred to venture into the wilderness himself and catch his meals. On one beautiful summer day, the king set out on his horse all alone. And as he rode along, the king spotted a large herd of deer grazing in a nearby meadow. The king carefully got out from his horse, drew his bow, and crept closer to the herd. The king was known for his bravery and his skill as a horseman. With this, he was quick on his feet when he heard an unfamiliar and unexpected noise behind him. When he turned to look, he saw a group of robbers, led by a fierce and determined bandit chasing after him on horseback. It was a trap. The king knew that he was in danger. He hopped on his horse and he urged his horse to go faster. The robbers, however, were close behind him and their horse were strong and fast. The king's heart raced as he heard the sound of the hooves pounding on the ground behind him. However, it wasn't just men and their horses he could hear. As chase continued, the king knew that he had to think quickly if he was going to escape. He could hear a distinct cry of a parrot right behind him. Run, catch him, and snatch his horse, and take his jewels. One quick glance behind him and the leader of the robbers had a green parrot on his shoulder. It screeched and quacked annoyingly. What a shame, the king thought, as he turned back to focus on the path in front of him. The parrot looked worn, scrubby, mistreated, but it would have looked beautiful in a good home. He spotted a narrow path leading into the forest and urged his horse to take it, hoping that the robbers wouldn't be able to follow. To his relief, the path was too narrow for the robbers to follow on their own horses. This gave the king enough time to escape and disappear out of their sight. His horse grew tired and stopped at an unfamiliar hut. In front of the entrance of the hut, was a green parrot standing right on top. It looked oddly similar to the parrot that stood on the shoulder of the robber. The parrot, after seeing the man on the horse, looked inside of the hut and yelled, Come! Welcome! A guest has arrived! Arrange food and water. The king still had his guard up, and he wondered who the parrot was talking to. A man had appeared from the hut. He had a gentle and calming demeanor and his eyes sparkled with intelligence and compassion. He was wearing a long robe and carrying a staff, which gave him an air of authority and respect. The man was a man of great knowledge and experience. The king recognized him. When the king was in distress and in need of help, he sought out the wise man for guidance and advice. As he approached the wise man, he greeted him with respect and humility. The king bowed to the wise man and spoke with a polite tone. O oh, wise one, I did not intend to come to your humble abode like this. I have been pursued by robbers. Hopefully, I confuse them enough so as not to disturb your peace here. The wise man with a gentle smile greeted the king warmly and listened to his story with understanding. Do not fret, my king. Those robbers are not the brightest in the kingdom. Arrange food and water, the parrot reminded the wise man. 
Oh, oh, of course. The wise man clapped as he hurried to make a place for the king to rest in his hut. King accepted the hospitality of the sage and went inside the hut. As the king made himself comfortable, the parrot flew inside the hut and sat on the wise man's shoulder. The king had to ask. The robbers had the same breed of parrot. But somehow, why is your bird different in nature? Even before the sage could say anything, the parrot said, King, we are the children of the same parrots. And based on your story, you probably met my brother. At an early age, we got separated as he had been taken by the robbers and I was brought to the sage's hut. It's been months since we have seen each other, but I can already guess he listens to the robbers every day. I listen to the words of the sage. He hears violence and rudeness as I listen to enlightenment and kindness. Ah, the king learned to understand the situation. You have different homes now. Therefore, you have different morals. Indeed, the parrot confirmed. Who you surround yourself with will determine who you will be. The most important work you'll ever do will be within the walls of your own home. Harold B. Lee. Surrounding yourself with the right people is like building a beautiful garden. You want to plant seeds of positivity and encouragement. Water them with kindness and support and watch them grow into blooming flowers of success and happiness. But if you plant seeds of negativity and doubt, well, you're just asking for a garden full of weeds. And let's be real, no one likes weeds. They're annoying, they ruin the aesthetic, and they're just plain odd pesky. Remember, the parrot siblings came from the same parent. And under an unfortunate situation, they were separated. And one of them landed in the hands of the robber and the other in the hands of a wise man. The parrot raised by the robbers grew up with a rough and tumble crowd. They taught him all the wrong things, like how to steal shiny trinkets and squat curses at people. But the parrot raised by the wise man had a very different upbringing. The wise man taught him how to speak kindly, listen attentively, and sing sweetly. So my friend, surround yourself with the right people. Plant the seeds of positivity and watch your garden of life bloom into something beautiful. And who knows, maybe one day, You'll have a garden full of friends, all blooming together in perfect harmony. Your home should tell the story of who you are and be a collection of what you love. Imagine your social circle as a garden full of colorful flowers, each with its unique fragrance and beauty. Be careful of the weeds that grow in your mess, for they can choke your growth and steal your light. You are the sum of the people you surround yourself with, so choose wisely. And you'll attract like-minded souls who share your values and aspirations. Together, you'll create a garden of abundance where laughter, love, and kindness bloom in abundance. The right environment affects who you are. If you're looking to make a positive change in life, start by examining your environment. You have the power to shape your environment just as much as it shapes you. Thanks for watching this video. How would you like to hear more motivational stories on a consistent basis? Do me a favor and support the channel by sharing, commenting below, and please make sure to like and hit that subscribe button to get the latest updates. Soon you will be on your way to feeling inspired.